been very excited to share the news with you that I finally got my PMP certification done. Thanks to eduhubspot.com and Varun's mentorship. The material provided by eduhubspot is fantastic and the mentoring is phenomenal. I could not accomplish this feat without the outstanding mentorship of Varun. I would like to thank eduhubspot for all the support that was given to me in this journey. If you're looking to be certified just like me, EDU HubSpot is your go-to place. Thank you, EDU HubSpot, for helping me become a PMI certified professional. I want to give credit to my success to the EDU HubSpot team. Hey, Ajanta, congratulations on passing the PMP certification. Yeah, I know this is a long journey for you. How do you feel right now? Hi, Gautam. How are you? Thank you so much for helping me pass my PMP exam. Without y'all and Varun's support, it would have been impossible. How do I feel? Hmm. You know what I did after I gave my exam and uh, I saw that congratulations, you have passed. I literally hugged the invigilator. <laughs> yeah, ma'am, can I please hug you? I have no one to hug. I have passed the PMP. So that was my feeling. It was unreal, Gotham. I, I, I am like top of my heels. Seriously. Uh, perfect, perfect. Because I'm not surprised, you know, you hugged the invigilator because I know uh, the journey of you behind this PMP certification. You have shared it with me. And I know this means a lot for you. I know, I know. It, it is, it is, Gotham. It was a long journey for me. Perfect, Come perfect. Back. You know what? Your success are complete. Edu HubSpot can celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I have been associated with Edu HubSpot since like 2020. Yeah. Um, when, um, yeah, it's all started. And I'm so glad it's one of the best platform, best, uh, you know, uh, mentorship programs they have. The institute would actually, you know, share knowledge. And every hum every individual has as a servant leadership style thank so you. Thank you. yeah thank you absolutely so uh, i have to start with the thank note thank you so much for accepting for doing this interview and sure. as i say in any of my interview the reason i'm conducting with you is to motivate my students yeah uh, thanks for doing this uh, agenda so let me start with the interview my first question please uh, share your professional background so gotham uh... I have done my master's in GIS, uh, it's a Geographical Information System and Satellite Remote Sensing. So I aimed, always aimed to be a GIS professional, that's what my field is. However, I have relative experience in environmental field and you can say in space uh, research operations and as well as more you can say in a financial domain. So that's my background. However, I travel a lot. I'm a global traveler. Uh, so far, I have traveled to around 75 to 80 countries. Damn. So, no okay. Uh -huh. Backpack traveler. So okay. that's what, you know, I, uh, I have a professional relationship as a traveler and as a GIS professional. That's what, who I am. Perfect, perfect. And just, you know, out of my curiosity, I'm asking this question. You have traveled these many countries. If I ask you to pick one country that you love most, what would be? The country which I love most, um, without even blinking my eye, it is India. <laughs> I expected this answer. And, yeah. and I will yeah. and I will tell you the reason why. Mm. Because in India, you have everything. Okay? That's why we call incredible India. See, every country is different. Every country is different. The culture is unique. The food is unique. So I cannot actually compare. But mm. I am a little biased because I'm an Indian. So definitely <laughs> India. Perfect, Ajanta. So uh, share your, you know, PMP journey. You know, as we discussed, yours is a long journey. So take time and share your journey. So uh, Gotham actually... Um, back in 2020, um, I was just speaking to a colleague of mine and she said that, you know, Ajanta, you have this knack that, you know, you stack things properly. You are a well, you're a good planner. Why don't you do a PMP certification? So I was like, okay, what is that? So then uh, Gautam, she said that, you know, PMP certification is the best certification and uh, it's for the project managers. So now I have worked in many projects but i never thought that i want to be a project manager so that's how it started so i started googling what is project management what is project manager and started seeing many videos on youtube and there when i saw varun his initial days when he was uh, giving this 
um, you know, in YouTube uh, to understand the basic, the crux of project management. And it was 2020, um, I remember when I approached him that, hey, Varun, can I, uh, can you help me? I don't know how to start. So he, then he said, oh, we have some boot camp. You can join and we can help you to pass. Okay, so that's how it started in 2020. Um, but in 2021, I had a major mental breakdown because due to COVID, I have lost one of our, my in, immediate family member. So I was in depression, mental breakdown. I was not in my mental frame to even study or do anything. I took a good uh, one and a half years of break. Um, was not in a condition to do any studies, nothing. So it took a lot of time for me to recoup and be normal because parallelly many things were going on. Then again, um, I joined back to an organized firm and I started working for one and a half years. But somewhere I was just juggling that, what do I want to achieve in, in my life? What do I want to do? And um, I won't lie, Gautam, that was the time when I spoke to Varun. And apart from being a mentor, he's such a great friend. You know, he empathizes, he understands you. And he was like, Ajanta, do you do you want to uh, study now we are here to support you and we are going to help you and it was basically gotham it was my personal journey that okay let me just focus my mind on studies maybe it will give me some kind of uh, healing so that you know i am being distracted of what is giving me more pain because battling with depression and grief is it's um, it's very difficult Gotham. Yeah. So December 2022, uh, I was introduced to you when I had my first boot camp. I was in that boot camp with you, but I was physically there, mentally somewhere else because I was going through my therapy sessions and everything. It went again on and off. And finally, I took a decision that no, come what may, I have to pass this exam. I have to clear this exam. So that's how, that's when I think in the month of May, I asked you, Gautam, can you help me with my recording of boot camps in um, December? And you said, hey, why don't you join boot camp now? Yeah. And Gautam, that was my turning moment of my life. The way you taught me the concept. If I'm on my grave tomorrow, I can say how to decompose WBS and what is a control chart. That <laughs> level of that level of mental preparation you have done to your students and to me. So I am eternally grateful Thank to you. you. Thank you. So my experience with Edu HubSpot has been phenomenal. One of the best platform I could ever say. Thank you. Thank you, Ajinta. You know, you have already shared, you know, the personal challenges that you had. You know, uh, most of the PMP aspirants, you know, they have personal challenges, not as like you, you know, but nevertheless, how did you kept motivated yourself? You know, how did you motivated yourself to come back and get the certification done? Gautam, it was very difficult um, when, for example, when I am sitting in front of you and giving this interview, I know myself how many times I have prepared myself mentally that, OK, you have to control your emotions. You have to be normal. Um, yeah. I know that you might have tra you know, trained uh, thousands of professionals in this platform and helped them to achieve their three-letter words. But there is always two lives, in, in, you know, a personal life and a professional life. And everybody has a personal life and they go through some kind of problem. But they can never show it in a professional life, in, in terms of being at work or in terms of being in, in, a, in a boot camp. They cannot, you know, share. My my journey has been very very difficult i was in intense therapy in my medication and whatever you were trying to teach me during the boot camp sometimes you know um i was not able to concentrate and i used to ask you the question and you like out of random ajanta why are you asking this question i never shared my problems then yeah. but uh, but your boot camps especially recordings right after the boot camp i used to listen to your recordings on and off I was trying to make my mind no concentrate you mm. have to concentrate mm. it is there but you have to fight that mm. really helped 
that perfect, helps. perfect Ajinta. You know, that's a very good point. You know, even a lot of people, including me in the initial days, when I have a personal problem, you know, I'll make sure that the personal problem is getting influenced in my professional life. I think we have to keep these two things apart. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for sharing this. You know, next thing. What strategies have you followed to understand some key PMP concepts? Two techniques shared by you. The one was Mahindra Singh Dhoni technique. <laughs> best technique. Best technique. Um, the reason why it always you to keep you cool. What will happen at, at worst? You will not uh, pass the PMP exam. But that's not end of the world. This was my thought while i was preparing i have to keep myself calm and i have to focus that was one technique and second technique which you help is your elimination technique mm. we know there is a problem we just have to figure out is that answer helping us to find the solution of the problem of the problem yeah. if if that is helping then that's the answer if it is not helping it's not the answer mm -hmm. these mm. two techniques really helped me to prepare uh, for the PMP exam, your boot camps. And I also, you know, what I did, I started putting all your information in a flow chart. Hmm. Um, I started putting everything you can say, uh, affinity diagram, I, you know, putting on the wall every day, uh, re studying, understanding the relationship, not by study wise, but why it is important. Without this, why this cannot be done. Hmm. This analogy, everything actually helped me to make my PMP preparation smooth. Perfect, perfect. You have already shared uh, that flowchart to me. Thank you so much. You know, <laughs> what I'm planning is I'm going to groom that flowchart a little bit. I'm going to give it to uh, our students, you know, to be Absolutely. honest. I'm gonna it. Don't sure, ask sir. for copyright, okay? Never, <laughs> never. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, your experience with the actual PMP exam. So how was the actual PMP exam? My experience with the uh, actual PMP exam was really, really good. Mm -hmm. The amount of preparation I had in my mock test, I actually uh, took your advice. I gave all the mock tests. I gave the PMI uh, clone uh, one, two tests also. So I would say the, the way you prepare your students to aim to actually climb Mount Everest, and I felt the PMP exam is like the base camp level, the Mount Everest base camp level. <laughs> so the answers were, um, the questions were relatively easy for mm. me because mm. I prepared really well. However, it can get tricky. Mm. What I did actually, I was not looking at the timer because that's a distraction. And mm. Mahindra Singh Dhoni technique, keep calm, focus on the question, is this answer choice helping to find the solution to the problem? Mm. So that was my thought process and it was easy. I followed your advice, you know, first hours, first 60 minutes, then 60 minutes, and then you said 70 or 80 minutes, right? Yeah, Some, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but my first set of exam, I finished it uh, within 50 minutes. The second set, I finished it again in 45 minutes. And the third set, I finished it in like 60 minutes. So um, I, I finished I finished early. I had good time to see, to understand. And um, I was very confident this time that, yes, I will pass. Not because I wanted to pass, but because my concepts were very strong in my head that I know why why this answer choice is right for this question. Perfect, perfect. Understand. You know, uh, that these things will only happen when your concepts are so strong. And yes. I know you. I was your mentor. I agree your concepts were very strong. Yeah. Good, good. Thank Thanks you. for sharing this. Last but not least, your uh, experience with EDU HubSpot. EDU HubSpot is not a platform, a training platform for me. It is like, uh, I would say, uh, it's like a family. And I see myself growing old with EDU HubSpot with uh, coming uh, <laughs> Because to start with Varun, uh, he was not only a mentor, he was a great friend, a confidante. Uh, so is you, so is rest of the team members. Anytime I, we had a, I had a technical glitch, I'm not able to access the bootcamp recordings or let it be the questionnaires. Within no time, I was helped. You were always there for me, even if in the weekends, even the, so. I would say the best platform and if anything I can do from my end 
you know to help the students who are going through uh, depression like me or who are in therapy trust trust your process uh, gautam I, I believe this exam is just not about success it is always about like dealing with loss and failure and how you know you you get up after every fall mm. you just have to think for a second that you prof professionally you have to do because for your better career and for your better future personally you have to be mentally strong and these both you know work hand in hand perfect thank you so much ajinta uh, very inspiring i would say that this is one of the very inspiring interview i have conducted so far thank you thank so you. much for taking your time and sharing your experience all the very best for your future endeavors of course we are going to be in touch and absolutely all the best ajinta thank, thank you thank you so much gautam